It's such a crisis right now in terms of chaos, and it doesn't have to be. Chaos theory teaches us when you shift things in small ways, you create enormous results over time. So much of our world is negative. The scary news, the crisis, all of which is real. But at the same time, there's incredible hope and possibility and, and goodness in the world. But it's a question of where you draw your strength from. And that's what I want people to do is tap into their strength and become an instrument for creating positive chaos as opposed to a victim of the negative chaos that's all around them. This concept means that the small changes to your inputs, to your words, your actions, your approach to your life can change everything. The challenges you're facing at this moment, they are a repeating version of patterns that you've encountered in your past. This is the acronym for chaos, challenging, hectic, anxious, overwhelming stress. It doesn't have to be that way. Maybe we look at this as challenging, healthy, aspiring, ongoing synergy. It's hard, but it's an intentional challenge you choose. It's gonna be more healthy because I'm gonna prioritize my mental and physical health. Instead of anxiety, I will choose to see what's aspiring, to see what's possible from overwhelming, which says it's now or never. We see that it's ongoing. The stress becomes synergy when we see that pattern. We're going to implement some technology and help make this more abundantly clear. Lights, please. creation of that pattern is what enables me to manage the complexity without dropping. But then patterns will change in our lives, in our businesses. We adapt, we adjust, and we remember it's all in your hands. If you limit yourself to what's comfortable, you deny yourself what's possible. If you think what you're doing now is difficult, it's time to try something harder. And when you do, this level simplifies. Once you stretch into the uncertainty, the uncertainty stretches you. And as you do, your ability will grow. If you feel overwhelmed, it may be from the inability to let go of what is out of your hands. And when you do, you'll realize it's not as fast as you thought. There's still that huge space. I'm slowing it down. And then I notice within that space, I can take advantage. I can do some other things. I can make some more creative choices. I can reach an entirely new level. Part of living in chaos is understanding that the goals aren't always as realistic or as complete as we can think from one present moment. See, goals are about exactness. Growth is about three things. Momentum, trajectory, and alignment. Momentum is everything, especially on a unicycle in the woods, because without movement, you have no sense of balance and you can't get over the obstacles. But if you think too far ahead, then you miss what's right in front of you. So this activity, I love it so much because it's uniquely me, but it keeps you on the move, yet in the moment, which I think is absolutely the key to success. The only way to find a sense of control in an ever-changing off-balance or chaotic world is to elevate your vision and see a different pattern. What you do on a six foot unicycle is you lean in and you start falling toward your face. And then you chase your body with the unicycle. So hopefully you don't get to your face. The way to keep momentum in your life and in your organization is never stop talking about what's most important. You have to continue to emphasize that and add to that traction. When you have movement in one area, seize that momentum in order to build additional traction and momentum and possibilities. Whole organization talking about momentum together it's unstoppable because there's nothing you won't eventually achieve. The stuff 
that he did was awesome. Very exciting. It was about the audience. It wasn't about him. Dan is amazing. I am going home with so much, and I cannot wait to hear him again. The only way transformation happens is in the moment that you occupy in the midst of uncertainty saying, I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I know it's going to be different. And then you start to see stress become synergy. You start to see how everything fits together.